Bronx High School students gather at 6 a.m. to travel to Washington, D.C. They will join students from around the country protesting gun violence. I am feeling very empowered to make a change for once. How many of you, by a show of hands, know someone who's been affected by gun violence? Raise your hand. Anybody here who has been affected by gun violence or knows someone who has been a family member? You march for them. Make noise for them. Express yourself however way you want. You can chant, you can scream, you can sing, you can rap a 16 bars, you can milli rock, do whatever it is that you want. You go over there, you represent the Bronx, you represent the youth. I'm here today to tell you that we're proud of you. Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. secured four buses to take students to the March for Our Lives rally. This is a way that we support our youth so they can express themselves, so they can send a loud message to the NRA, to those in Washington, D.C., that enough is enough. Uh, the, the, whether you're a Latino or an African-American from New York City or a white student from the South, too many of our youth across the nation have been affected by gun violence and it has to stop. Feeling outraged and helpless, students were empowered to take a stand for their rights. No rational argument. The NRA is the National Rifle Association and they want to keep the guns, they want to protect our Second Amendment right, but at the cost of children's lives, at the cost of like millions are dying from bullet guns that they are helping reproduce and so that is not a rational argument in my sense. I hope to accomplish um, Going to D.C., I hope to see a lot of passion in people's eyes when going there because I understand that this is a very big issue and this is a very big thing that Congress cannot avoid. So I hope to make change. As students are off to D.C. to march for their lives, they hope by rallying together that Congress will make the necessary change to keep them safe.